Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. It has been a while. Um, after Christmas and New Year's, we ended up getting sick in our house. And so I've been kind of down, not been able to make any videos. And I have definitely missed y'all. And I've been really excited about getting to do the videos on the Rachel Cruz wallets. I told y'all that they were gonna come quickly and I wasn't anticipating any kind of cold. So bear with me, hopefully my voice will stay with me, but I didn't wanna wait any longer because um, I know that some of y'all were really waiting on this review. So today, what we're going to be doing is the Rachel Cruz Slim Wallet. Um, I've seen a lot of videos and we are going to be doing a video on the original Rachel Cruz Wallet as well. But since there are some reviews already out there for you guys and I haven't really seen one on the Slim Wallet, I thought we would start with that one now. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay guys, so for this portion of the video, I thought that we would do an overhead view so that you could get a better view of the wallet up close. Um, so again, it does have a wristlet and it does have gold hardware, which I think looks really nice with it. Um, the wristlet is removable. It's got the lobster claw closure here. So you can take it off if you would like. The D-ring is also in gold and the hardware for the zipper. Um, the hardware for this one is smaller, a little bit more dainty than the other wallet that she made. Um, but it is a much more slim one wallet, as you can tell. It does have the RC on it, and this is the champagne color. Hopefully, y'all can really see the color in the video. Um, so, you can see the different grains in the leather. It is real leather. It has been stamped. Um, if the leather is stamped it's got more of the uniform look the wallet that i'm coming from is actually the limea wallet and you can actually see the grain in this one this one's more of a full grain leather so it is a lot more softer than this leather but it's still very nice and it is still real leather um, so the back part of the wallet does have options for you to be able to carry cards um, and again, you know, if you're doing Dave Ramsey, it would be more for cards like your debit card, any kind of savings account cards, and maybe some of your discount cards, insurance cards, and that kind of thing. It does have the little clip um, to be able to close the wallet and keep your card secure, which I like. There is also a um, back slip pocket here. I did not catch this when I did the unboxing and one of you actually pointed out that you thought that it might have an extra slip pocket and it does. So that's pretty cool. Um, and so there's the person that made this wallet. I still think that that's really cool that she's partnered with Join and it helps support a mother be, to be able to support our family. So I just think that's really cool aspect of the wallet. And so here is the slip pocket that I didn't get to show y'all on the unboxing and it is it does open up really wide so that's nice um, and then the inside of this wallet it does only zip halfway so you can see here zips down and around so this is how far it opens up which is still pretty big for as small as this wallet is and here um, is where you would carry your license and I guess you could put any other kind of you know, if you'd rather carry your insurance cards in there, that'd be fine too. And then you can carry cash. So all in all, I think this wallet's really nice. It is a more compact wallet, but it's nice to not always have to carry everything around with you. So the one thing that I kind of wanted to do to pack this wallet up so you could kind of see what would fit in it is my um, cards that I use. I've shown these in a couple videos and they're my absolute favorite system to be able to use and I have them right now. So I have my other wallet that's packed up and I do have a few of them that I like to use pretty routinely, which is, let's see, groceries, my sassy cash, which is my personal spending money and our ties. Um, I try to keep those in my wallet at all times and this wallet was really able to still hold everything that I needed to hold. So I'm curious to see how this wallet actually is able to hold those. Um, so I don't really have a whole lot of cash on me right now. Um, groceries is busted right now. Um, Sassy Cash, I have a $45 in that. And our ties has already been given to the church. So that's not in there either. Um, but I just wanted to be able to see if any of this would fit inside this wallet. So that y'all would have a better idea of what you could 
carry or if it had to just be one um, money system. So it does look like they fit actually really nice. Even the tops of the cards are gonna fit in place. And I did get these cards on Etsy. Um, a time for everything, I think, was the name of the um, the name of the person that I purchased them from. So, and you can still get them. And there's multiple other people that you can buy them from. And you can actually get the labels and label them yourself. So, I just really like these. And I wanted to see if they would fit. And they do. So, you can use this wallet and just carry one single item if you choose to. Or you could get these little index dividers and be able to split up and still have a couple different categories because it is a fairly decent size wallet. So, aside from that, let's go ahead and put the rest of my stuff in the wallet and just see how it does. My license, I keep that in my concealed to carry case um, separate from my wallet. So, instead of doing that, I'm going to put our debit cards inside there. Okay. So, I was able to fit three of those inside there and so it's a fairly decent sized pocket so you could definitely get enough in there and it still looks like it's gonna close yep no problem and then let's see i'm not really sure what i would keep on the back of here probably receipts i think would be the easiest thing there and then let's put some of our other insurance cards and such in the back Okay, so I finished getting all of this set up, so we'll do a breakdown of kind of how we have it laid out so that you can kind of see exactly what would fit in here and if this is the wallet that you would enjoy using. So inside the main zipper section here, I do have three of the dividers that I like to use. And so I think that works really, really well. I'm actually surprised with how many I was able to put in there. So I went with groceries, sassy cash, and ties, which are the ones that I tend to use the most. Um, right now, the only category that has cash in it is Sassy Cash, and there's $45 in there, but that'll kind of give you an idea. I mean, these tabs are decently thick, um, and there's three of them in there with $45, so I definitely feel like it carries and holds a lot more than I thought that it was going to. I do feel like I have enough room for the additional cash categories for groceries, and ties is usually a check, so I'm able to definitely get that in there, no problem. Inside this slip pocket, instead of my license, because I carry that in my concealed to carry case, I went ahead and did all three of my debit cards in there, as well as my car insurance card, just so that I knew that they're all secured in place and zipped up. The back portion of the wallet, I just went with some of the discount cards that we have. Um, so this one's for Subway. Uh, discount card for prescriptions that they send you in the mail, a discount card for one of the um, Mexican restaurants that we like to go to, discount card for another Chinese restaurant that we like to go to, and um, our insurance card and our Payflex card. So, um, I do like that that snaps down over top of them to keep them secure. It definitely keeps them from coming out, as you can see. So I do like that feature. And then here in this slip pocket, I decided to try the um, receipts because doing any kind of purchases, you're gonna have receipts and I don't really just like them floating around in my bag in case I do need to have a return. So I went ahead and put them here. I did put a coupon in the back and then a receipt. Now, the one thing that I will say is it is a little bit tight if you have this with a little bit more cash or cards taking up this space. So you can see that it is kind of, let me back this up a little bit, there you go. It is does make it a little bit more wide when you have the extra in there. And the receipts do stick out of the top. Now I have this one folded the coupon is really small and the receipt I have it folded into like thirds but it still does kind of stick up so some people that may bother it's not really that big of a deal to me um you know try to keep it cleaned out and you should be good to go but all in all I do really like the wallet I love you know for a quick day out and not having to actually carry a purse 
I think that this will be like a nice little quick, easy grab, something kind of light if you don't have to have a lot of cash categories. Um, but was really surprised that I was able to get three different categories in there. Um, so leave me a thumbs up if you liked this video. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the Rachel Cruz Slim Wallet. And if you like the champagne color, I absolutely think this color is gorgeous and would look really good in the large wallet as well. And subscribe if you liked today's video. I hope that you have a great day and I look forward to seeing you next time, friends. Thanks so much. Bye.